What if the flat earthers were right and the earth was, in fact, flat? How would gravity work? Would we still have time zones, change of seasons? Would the conditions for life here on earth exist at all? This is factology. And here's what the earth would look like if it was flat. First of all, forget about walking to its edge. Gravity would simply not let you wait. Would gravity even be possible on a flat earth? The answer is yes, of course. The force of gravity is what keeps our planet or any other planet together. It's what forms a planet in the first place. In the case of a pancake-shaped Earth, the force of gravity would pull you to the center and would become stronger as you tried to walk away from it, pulling the top of your body backwards. It would feel as if you were climbing a hill, a hill that was getting steeper and steeper and steeper. By the time you reach the edge, down and behind you would be the same direction. Sound weird? How about water being sucked into the center of the Earth? or diagonal trees growing in the opposite direction of gravity's pull. And then there's the sun. How would a flat Earth behave in space? One flat Earth theory is that the sun revolves around the Earth, not the other way around. What if the sun orbited the Earth just like the moon does? In that case, you'd never suffer jet lag because there'd be no such thing as time zones. The sun would light up both the top and the bottom of the planet. This would mean constant light, no day and night cycle. Also, no seasons or solar eclipses. The sun itself would have to be much smaller, otherwise it would burn the Earth to a crisp. It would probably fry the planet anyway, as there would be no geomagnetic field to protect Earth from its radiation. The geomagnetic field is generated in the solid core of the Earth and keeps our atmosphere from escaping. Without it, cosmic rays would bombard our bodies, causing everything from cancer to DNA damage the oceans would escape into space, and so would the air and all our oxygen. But let's assume that a flat Earth had an alternative to our magnetic field. This way, you'd still be alive to notice some of the strange flat Earth effects, like your shadow. Say you had a friend just as tall as you, but they lived a thousand miles away. On a sunny day, your shadows would be the very same length, because unlike here on a spherical Earth, the sun's rays would hit both of you at the same angle. And if you two were to meet up, traveling would turn out very different. Let's take a map introduced by the Flat Earth Society. Yeah, the one that shows the Arctic at the center and Antarctica as an ice wall around the edges. In this world, it would take you 32 hours to fly from Australia to Argentina. Did we mention there'd be no GPS? Satellites wouldn't be able to orbit a flat Earth, leaving humanity with no navigation and no synchronized time. This means no ATMs, no credit cards, no high-speed stock market transactions. On the bright side, with a good pair of binoculars, you could see Dubai's Burj Khalifa from any part of the flat world. But let's be honest, you don't need to build your own rocket to see that the Earth is not flat. The evidence is all around us. Thanks for tuning in to Factology, where we explore the intriguing what-ifs of our world. If you found this journey through the hypothetical flat Earth as fascinating as we did, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more mind-bending content. Remember, curiosity knows no bounds, so keep questioning and keep exploring. Until next time, stay curious.